It's a Christmas miracle. You finally landed an internship scoring a film. Good job. Proud of you. You're closer to your dream of working for the industry. Except that you've never scored a film before. The deadline's tonight. And you've got a bunch of suits on the phone asking way too many questions. That's why we're here, baby. Today, I'm going to teach you. How does that dream? So here we have a movie called The Industry. And the first thing you gotta do is watch a scene and take notes. Industry meeting that you're supposed to go to. The meeting. And hey, so meeting um, here, here, I might need to call, call you back because there's something eerie going on right now. And <gasps> oh, is... what the f that was super scary, but according to my notes, you just add a ball of strings for your run-of-the-mill jump scare. Because there's something eerie going on right now. And Beautiful. Now when you're dealing with something that requires actual effort, like scoring, you need to ask yourself the tough questions. Do I really want to do this? Sober? What instruments should I use? Whatever happened to Jenny with that weird-ass laugh? <coughs> Are tears just eye sweat? Is sweat just ever body really music? Really music. Really music. Really music. music. That was that one soundtrack that I really liked. Ask enough questions and eventually you'll come up with a temp track, which is pretty much just a reference soundtrack from a film that's similar to what you're working on. Kinda like this one from The Shining. And now all you have to do is just kind of recreate that, but change stuff around slightly, like the pitch and the key maybe, and then like transpose it by like half a step. And we don't question that because that's how the industry works, okay? Money. And transposition. And scene. Hey, yeah. To to yeah, sorry about that. I'm heading over in just a minute. You gotta go to the industry. Let's go grab my <laughs> The purpose of soundtrack is to add a layer of meaning to the visuals in the form of mood, because when you do it right, assuming you aren't consciously analyzing the score, nobody pays attention but they feel it. Kind of like everything I just said, you know? So what you do is you think about the mood the footage conveys, where it leads and at what place. Here's what I mean. So this is an eerie setting and the first thing you want to set is the mood. How do you convey that? Now, our protagonist starts relatively okay. Then something happens, there's an inciting incident, and the music lets us know. Thanks, dissonance. And then it just builds from there. Cellos and bass near the bottom, violins in the middle and high ranges, and then you keep adding more elements to cover more and more of the sound spectrum. Eventually, you keep going, and then you keep doing all the other scenes one by one, and you start doing all the <laughs> Sorry I'm late. You would not believe what happened. Welcome to the board meeting. Please, make yourself comfortable. Please! No! You could finally be part of the industry, you know. Wouldn't you like your industry beverage? Wouldn't you like to be one of us? And have our perks and benefits. Enjoy. Wow, you really nailed it. So now that you're finished with your soundtrack, just export and start heading over to... Speak of the devil. Hello? Yeah, I'm about to head over. Just gotta go to the little composer's room if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Yep. Alright, bye. Oh no. Hi, Doc Puppet here, and this video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you're trying to learn new ways to flex your brain, I suggest you try Skillshare. See, Skillshare is an online learning community with over 20,000 classes in design, music, technology, and so much more. Premium membership gives you an unlimited access to high quality classes on must know topics so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities, and do the work you love. If you're into music like me, 
I suggest you try a course called Music Theory for Electronic Musicians taught by Jason Allen. I like this one because it gives you the fundamentals of music theory so that you can immediately apply them in your production. Things such as triads, progressions, and many ways to make them more interesting. So join the millions of students already learning on Skillshare today. With a special offer just for my subscribers, you got two months of Skillshare for free. To sign up, visit the link in the description and get two months of unlimited access to over 20,000 classes for free. Act now for this special offer and start learning today.